the Money Matters Podcast Tip of the Day. Scared of failure. Hmm. Most Ghanaians are still living in poverty today because they're scared of failure. Wow. Um, you know, I think you know where I think this scared of failure thing comes from. I think it comes from the the way our school system is structured in Ghana. Um, if you failed, it looks like um, basically it looks they don't they don't they don't let you understand that when you fail, you have the opportunity to do it again. If you basically when you fail, it looks like that, that's the end. There's no there's no way of coming back from it, but. If you fail, that's that just means you have a chance to do it again. Definitely. And if you already failed and you're doing it again, you're gonna be better off than somebody else that just did it one time because mm-hmm. you're gonna you're doing it again. You haven't a chance to correct whatever you did wrong, re-strategize, and become a, a better person or a better um, become better at whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. So you can't really um, be scared. You have to like you know you have to embrace it kind of not that you want to fail but when it happens you have to it's, it, you have to sit down break it down and learn from it and do it again and again and again and again until you become successful you can't just um be scared of what other people are going to say that oh you fail from doing this you fail from doing that you know if you if that's what you you you're paying attention to then nothing is going to work for you. you you're always going to be scared to do anything because you never know what the outcome is going to be until you actually give it a shot you know if you don't try then you don't know what's going to happen so failure really is something that you want to stay away from you want to make sure that you try at least give it a shot because the the biggest the biggest failure will be not trying at all Definitely. you know if you don't try then you don't know what the outcome is going to be so you can't be scared you can't be scared of being you know failing yeah, I'm going to paraphrase one of the American presidents. I can't think of their name of his name right now. I think he said that failing is the only opportunity to begin again the right way. When you fail, you begin again in the right way because you fail and you fail because of that or this. So now you know why you fail. So now you about to embark on that same journey again. Knowing very well what caused your failure the first time. What are you going to do this time? Are you going to be doing the same things that brought you down the first time? Definitely no. So failing is the only opportunity that will give you the chance to go into that same thing and also do it better than before. So failing should not be something that should be looked at as the end. It's always the journey. It's never the destination. So failing should give you um, more, more experience. Yeah, more it, routes. It basically means you start it over again. Exactly. More wisdom. And I, I like it when you mentioned about it, how the school system is set up in Ghana about failure and stuff, you know. Everybody who fails in a class or in an exam or whatnot is made to understand that they're dumb. They're not smart. Right. But definitely, we all learn in different ways. We all have our different ways of learning. Some people are quick learners and some are slow learners. So the fact that somebody could not grab that message that... The fact that you can't do it the first time you know what doesn't what mean... So, so it makes you... It gives you that psychological um thing where you see yourself as 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 not smart and then you kind of kind of self prophesize that oh i'm never going to be able to make it but actually you should never be afraid to be tell to be told no because being told no does not mean that it it's not it's not the end it's only hold on or wait or something like that because you have that courage you have that strength you have that mental strength to go into that that thing that you fail at there are a lot of people who have that same entire the same idea or same strategies we cannot even go into that specific thing so you having that courage to go into it alone so you should also at that point see yourself as even being better than a lot of people because most people can they won't even dare try but you gave it that try so we should never be afraid to try new things because if you keep doing the same thing, you can be assured of expecting the same results every time. That's true. Um, another thing is you want to be able to get out of your comfort zone. You just can't be scared because, you know, you just stay in your comfort zone. Whenever you just stay in your comfort zone, you don't grow. Things are going to be the way, the, the way they are. Exactly. So you have to be able to step out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way that you can grow. Yeah. So if you just, you know, you, you if you if you don't if you don't want to step out of your comfort zone and you just want to be worried and worried, 
then you're not going to grow. Things are going to be the same for you. Exactly. So if you're that hungry, if you don't want to remain in that position where you're in being tagged a, pub, a, a poor person or whatnot, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Uh, comfort zone you have to try new things you should never be afraid of being told no because like he said earlier if you're told no today it means that you have tried and if you take it upon yourself that hey i'm not gonna try because i'll be told no there's still a chance of being told yes so if you say if you say you're not gonna try because they will tell you no that's a hundred percent no right but if you try, there is still a possibility of a percent or whatever chance of being told yes. So yeah, because you don't know what's gonna happen. No? Exactly. It could so, be positive. It could be negative. You don't know until you try. Until you try. So, so if you don't give it a shot and you're just scared, you just wanna do the same thing. Nothing is gonna change. Everything is gonna be the same every year. Things are gonna be the same unless you do something different. That, you take the risk and not not be fearful and try to you know take things minus into your own hands, kind of. There are multiple choice questions that you don't know what the answer is. If you leave it blank, that's <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave it blank. You, you can't leave it blank. You got, you got to pick one. That one, <laughs> yeah. So basically, it's like a it's like a process of elimination when you have those multiple choice. Yeah. You know, if you get the first one, if you got five or uh, four multiple choices, and you get the first one wrong, then you know you got three left. Yep. You know, so if you get the next one wrong, you know you, you got, got two, two left, fifty right. fifty. If you get first three wrong, at least you know it the next one is the right answer. Right. So, <laughs> so if you leave that multiple choice question blank, that's a zero. But yeah. if you put one, you still have twenty five percent chance of getting that at one point. So we should never be as afraid of being told uh, of being told no to the point where we would not even give it a chance. We should always muster that courage to go ahead and try whatever that we are thinking. Thank you for listening to the Money Matters Podcast Tip of the Day.